Hi, Professor Vern. So, what's up with Robot? Good morning, Administrator. Uh, Robot thought he would try a more professional attire when working in the lab, and I think he made the ideal choice. Well, I can see why you think that, but uh, by the way, where did we get Robot? Robot was a $30 million NASA development. Uh, but I got him for a bargain. I was the highest bidder at a government surplus auction. I got him for 62 bucks. I heard that. What a bargain. But enough of that. I'm here today to talk about track switches. Absolutely, Administrator. Track switches, also called turnouts, are used to safely guide a train from one track to another. The key element of a track switch is a linked pair of tapering rails known as switch points located between the two outer rails. See here, I have a mock-up of a track switch to illustrate their operation. I see we're in the holiday spirit, Professor. Why, yes, Administrator. It's that time of year. What we have here is a right-hand turnout because the diverting move is to the right of the main track. Note the linked pair of switch points located between the two outer rails, as well as a frog, which allows trains to cross over tracks. So this highly technical term frog, I assume is an acronym of some sort. Uh, not really. The thing just looked like a short-bodied amphibian, so it got called a frog. Uh, now to continue. The switch points operate as a pair and determine on which track the train will continue to move. We either have a straight move or a diverting move possible, depending on how the switch points are aligned. Can you show me examples of straight and diverting moves? First, it's critical to know that one of the switch points must be closed against one of the outer rails, while the other switch point has an open gap. Always look for the open gap. It will tell you what move the track switch is aligned to accomplish. If the open gap is at the straight rail, then the train will be guided through a straight move. Note that the open gap is at the straight rail. I'll now demonstrate a straight move using this model wheel set. Sounds so simple, just look for the open gap. Exactly. Now, if the open gap is at the diverting rail, then the train will be guided through a diverting move. Now observe, the open gap is at the diverting rail. I'll now demonstrate a diverting move using the model wheel set. But Professor Vern, how do we make sure the track switch works safely? Ah, the electric switch machines that move the switch points have multiple safety features. First, it checks for correspondence, meaning that the switch points are properly aligned. There's also a point detector that ensures no gap is present at the closed switch point. There are also lock rods, huge metal bars, that lock the switch points in place once the switch machine finishes its movement. That's great. So what happens if something isn't right? If either of these verifications fail, then trains will not be allowed to move over the track switch. Professor Vern, I'd like to see one of our track switches in operation. Let's have at it. You were going to calibrate my hearing sensors. Ah, we'll do it later. Okay, Administrator, I've asked systems engineer David Wilson to join us here today. Excellent. For Professor Vern, I brought my favorite pizza with me today. Could you put this somewhere safe? Certainly. Robot, put this over there by the railing. So Dave, how long have you been in railroad engineering? Hi, Mr. Quinn. I've been doing railroad engineering for about 27 years. This track switch here allows access to our passenger stations from our main lines one and two. Administrator, observe the switch machine is currently set for a diverting route. Note that the open gap is at the diverting rail. Now observe that the train is making a trailing move over the switch into the passenger station. It's a good thing that track switch was properly aligned. Absolutely. Now observe, the switch machine is moving the switch points into position for a straight move. Now see that the open gap is at the straight rail. Now observe that the train is leaving the passenger station 
and making a facing move over the track switch onto the mainline track. Professor Vern, thank you so much for explaining how track switches work on railroads. And uh, hey, where's my pizza? Professor, we have a problem. Professor Vern, what happened to my pizza? Robot, I told you to put it over there by the railing, not the rails. You malware-ridden microprocessor. What do you want for 62 bucks? Sorry, Administrator. Ugh, why does this always happen to me?